2042 has hit a new low this week, reaching less than 2000 players in the last 24 hours. Battlefield 2042 has now less than 2042 players on Steam, and it's wonderful. Where are all the people who were defending 2042 a couple of weeks ago, a couple of months ago? Where have they gone? You can't find them. Where are all the people who were defending the beta saying it's just the beta bro or it's an old build, don't worry about it. What happened to them? Don't they play their game anymore? The one that they loved so much and they needed, they had this unstoppable need to defend the game even though everyone knew that it was a complete garbage? Where are the ones saying stupid shit like the game just came out so it's normal to have a couple of bugs and a couple of issues? Apparently they moved on like everyone else. Even DICE has moved on and started working on the next Battlefield, leaving of course a team working on 2040 in its future content and you know trying to patch the game up but as we have already established I think either they are completely incapable of fixing this mess or they don't want to I, I don't see any other reason as to why the game is still in the mess that it is and I'm not saying that the game should be 100% fixed at this point or that the map should have been reworked or anything like that I'm just saying they have allowed very fundamental things to be broken ever since the game came out. I think it's unacceptable, I've said it in every video about 2042, I think it's unacceptable to allow your game to have broken mouse input or whatever the fuck is wrong with the mouse, as well as broken aim assist input. It's an FPS game and the aiming isn't working as it should, it's not working properly. How do you allow that to go on for more than, I don't know, a month maybe? But yeah, everyone seems to have moved on and I don't blame them. 2042 must be the biggest letdown of a AAA FPS title I've ever seen. It's not fun, it's not running properly, core futures are missing for no apparent reason, so I don't see why anyone would still be playing this game. I jumped into it last night in order to get some footage for, for this video and to see how the game actually is after I haven't touched it for more than a month. I had a breakthrough match with 128 players, it wasn't too bad, but at the same time it was worse than any other Battlefield I've ever played, so I don't know why, you know, I would keep on playing that game when literally every other FPS out there is a better option for me to go. I had a good match, I had some fun, it was okay, it wasn't terrible, but as soon as I finished the match and then jumped into another one, I had to alt F4 simply because I had to wait there for more than 5 minutes in order to get a lobby. We were searching for players again, again, again. So I was like, no, I I'm not wasting any more time of my night, see ya. How can you have bots in your servers and still not be able to fill up your games? I don't get that. Like, what's the purpose of having bots in this game if I still need to wait 15 minutes for enough players to join? Don't even get me started on the fact that if we had server browser, we wouldn't have to worry about shit like that. We would queue on a full server like we are doing right now in Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4 and we would be fine. We would wait there for 3, 4, 5, 10 minutes and then we would join a full server have a great match. But no, we can have things like that. We cannot have server browsers, we cannot have vaults out, we cannot have personal stats and personal progression, we cannot have platoons because reasons. Worst part of all this is that I honestly feel scared about what the next Battlefield will look like. DICE knew what the player base wanted with 2042, a simple BF3 or BF4 type of game, but they decided to start developing a battle royale which then they abandoned once they realized that Warzone came out and they knew that their game couldn't compete with, with Warzone, especially since Warzone is free. And they decided to turn that half-developed battle royale game into a multiplayer game, a normal multiplayer game. And, you know, that's what we got. Nobody asked for what we got. If they didn't listen to us regarding 2042, even though Battlefield 5 was considered to be the biggest failure of the Battlefield franchise, why do we expect DICE to actually listen to us now after 2042 has been the biggest failure of this franchise? Holy shit, I'm not even a game director myself and I don't want to pretend to be one, but abandoning your product and changing it midway through speaks volumes about your confidence with the product that you have developed. And what makes this whole incident even worse is the fact that after the game got published and everyone started talking shit about it, the developers had the nerve to pretend like their game was good and that everyone else was crazy. Do you remember the Brutal Expectations guy? Do you remember people posting pictures of the credits or whatever with their names in there and acting proud that they've worked on this product? 
Like if I was a developer, I wouldn't even want to mention that I've worked on a project like 2042 in any future, you know, job that I will apply to. But I think that the best moment that we've gotten out of this, you know, shitstorm called 2042 is this stupid ass guy who tweeted about brutal expectations and then had to delete all the fucking tweets that he made because he realized or the people told him, you know what, you look dumb as fuck, take them down, you're embarrassing us. Who would have thought that expecting developers to work on trying to patch up the broken product that they just released and not take a month off during Christmas would have been brutal expectations. Like, I've said that in the video that I made about these specific tweets, like, who the fuck takes one month off during Christmas? Like, is it just me? Is it just, like, in my country where people, if they're lucky, will take maybe 10 days of Christmas and then they have to go back to work? Or is it, like, everywhere like that. I don't know. I, I would expect that, you know, if you just did a serious job, you should go back to work and have less time, you know, for your holidays because, you know, you did a serious job. But anyways, I'm done. I, I can't take this anymore. I don't know. I mean, I still upload powerful content, but I don't think that we will be going back to 2042 anytime soon. Maybe only for news and things like that. Either that, I'm not interested in that game anymore. I think it's as dead as it will ever get. I don't think we will ever get to a lower point with this game, but yeah. That's it. Thank you very much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.